Hey everyone, Sillycat2 here. Welcome back for more Mega Man Battle Network 2. In the last episode, I got stalked by a ninja while I was looking for this weird terrorist group. And in this episode, we are going to confront the remaining two members of this terrorist group and hopefully get an S license, double S license. <coughs> Koto area. We got a pair of goofballs here, but that is okay because we have the awesomest that is Life Sword 2. Or 3, rather. Pfft, 2. And yes, I am aware that I am low on HP gain. Thank you very much. Let's see if we can get this guy out of hiding. Yes! Epic owned! Alright, now let's head back to Kodo area. Found it! Hello, I heard the story from number two. I'm number one, the leader of the Black Maze. I can't believe all my followers got defeated. Deleted. But I'm not too upset about it. In fact, I'm pleased to see how talented you are. Let's conquer the net together. The Black Maze would be unbeatable if you joined us. Of course, I'll give you a high rank. I'll never take the side of evil! That's a pity. Because it means you're standing in my way. I can't just leave dangerous things lying around, no matter how small they might be. Null and Void, Puffy, and Puffy. Eh, piece of cake. Let's start by taking care of this guy. Looks like we're gonna have to do this, uh, without our epic program advances, but that's fine. Oh, here we go. Just in time. Ooh, yeah. That's all of them, so let's head back to the square. Congratulations! Nice work! Now for problem two. Problem two is a survival battle. To pass, delete 20 viruses that appear in a row. You cannot recover HP during battle, so be careful. I will print your HP before and after a problem. So, are you ready? Here we go! Start battle one. Oops. <laughs> Can't believe I got hit on the first battle of that. Okay, Red Devil. We know how to deal with these guys now. But first, I think I want to take care of those two viruses down there, the Shellman and Twisty 2. Like that. Oops, now I can take care of this guy at our leisure. It's a good thing we have program advances that are the sword type. Yurt, full fire, spooky too. Hmm. Yeah, you see how broken Gator is? That is why this folder is the best. Because of this program advance. Of course, it doesn't do much against those rocks, but whatever. Right? It just means we're gonna have to wait a little bit for that guy to come out. Most awesome program advance ever. Besides Gator. Goofball. We know how to deal with these guys now. Fireblade also works wonders on them. 
because they are wood elemental. And a properly placed fire blade on a grass panel will take them out in one hit. One, yes! Quick win! We don't even need program advances to take these two out. Just gotta be fast. Stormbox might be a bit of a problem if if you can't take out the Dominator 3 fast enough. Once you've taken out Dominator 3, Stormbox is not a threat at all. Of course, if you can't take him out fast enough, you are royally screwed. As you can see. Okay, once more, with feeling. The great thing about Gateman... He's homing! Even if the enemy's behind you. Flappy twos, again, not a big issue. As long as you take them out fast enough. Same thing for sortie threes. Spooky 3, he's in Spooky 2s. This might be annoying, but again, we have an awesome folder. We can handle it. Nice try. You were gonna heal yourself just now, weren't you? Dominards are even less of an issue than Dominard 3s, because they can't use Get in 1. All, ke all they can do is bite. <laughs> Got disoriented there for a minute. Because they have such a small window of time in which they're vulnerable, it might take them a while to kill them, but... Well, it is pretty easy, actually. Let's see? And since we have Elect Blade... Yeah. Mega Bunnies, Ratty Threes, same deal. Gate Man takes care of them. Here, we are going to adopt a different strategy. Here. Now we can take out Deathfire at our leisure. Oops. <laughs> I just got hit by a meteor. What the heck? Okay, come on, take him out, take him out, take him out, take him out. Yes! 
Now is about the time when I'm where I'm starting to wish I had an area grab somewhere in my folder. Take this one out, then we can dodge the cross bombs a bit better. The great thing about Gateman is he can stand on his own. You want to stay away from the center panel when fighting these B-Tank 3s. For obvious reasons. Dominator 2, again. We want to take him out as fast as possible. Whoops. I am stupid. Ooh. I did things a stupid way. Much better. As long as he's out of the picture, we can take our time. Except that the video is sort of on the time limit, but not really. Yeah, we can take our time. Once again, Gate Man. Spiky threes and flamey threes. You do not want to let them hit that uh bomb up there. So stick to the bottom two rows if you can help it. Aqua Blade helps here. If you value your life, you'll want to take out that spark noid. As well as the Shrimpy 3 if you have enough gate mans. Afterwards, you can do whatever the heck you want to get rid of Popper. He's not really a threat. Start Battle 20. This is it, guys. And here we are introduced to the Blue Gon Virus. It is an upgraded form of the Yellow Gon Virus, which we sort of missed when we were tackling uh, a part comp. That is because Yellow Gons are extremely rare. But anyway. The dragon viruses only appear over holes. But they're just as vulnerable to chips as anything else once they're once they appear. Hardhead the blue hardhead is only annoying because he fires so quickly, but that also makes him more vulnerable to your chips, so Try and take him out as soon as you can. Or try to take him out. Either take him out first or wait till the other viruses are gone and then you can take your time. And here I am being stupid with my program advances again. And that's it. 
We got the double S license. And a reg up one. Now we've done that, I think it's time to call it a day. So, if you like this part, subscribe to my videos, big button up top, give me a thumbs up down below this video, be sure to check out my other stuff. This is Silicat 2, I'll be seeing you next time.